In this video, we will be looking into type of test items that are generally used in achievement type achievement test. There are two type of test items: objective type items and essay type items. Objective type items are further classified into supply type and selection type. In supply type items, the stem of the objective objective type item is followed by correct response and distractors and the respondent should select the correct answer from the options that is supply type items the it the responses are supplied along with the items and have to correct, select the correct answer from the supplied responses in the selection type items the stem of the item will be an incomplete statement and from the given responses the respondent have to select the correct answer and fill in the statement and the correct responses should be selected from the given responses that is selection type in essay type items it is classified into two type that is extended response type and restricted response type in extended response type there is freedom for the respondent to answer the essays without any restrictions and in restricted response the thing is that the question should be answered within a limited number of words or space provided for the respondent now we can look into detail about objective test items and uh, one is first one is mcq that is multiple choice questions multiple choice questions will be having a stem a stem means a direct question or an incomplete statement and followed by responses responses are generally more than 2 two or more than 2 we find in many objective type questions the responses will be provided in numbers 4 or 5 and the other important aspect is distractors distractors are incorrect answers incorrect answers should be given along with the responses and the respondent should select the correct answer from the options given and distractors should be very carefully included in the options how to construct an you know, mcq mcqs we should use meaningful statements as stems of mcqs we should be very careful in maximizing the discriminating power of the items and options provided in mcqs and adequate number of responses should be included in the mcqs is the another thing that we have to look into the phrasing of the stem is very important as far as mcq is considered it should be simple and unambiguous no confusion should be avoided from the in the item and it should be very clear clarity is another thing that we have to look into the phrasing of mcq stems the distractors given in the options should be thoroughly wrong it should not be partially correct in any manner it should be thoroughly wrong and that is one important thing that we have to look into correct answer occupy different answer position if we have 10 number of items objective type mcqs in a test paper the distribution of correct answer and the position of the correct answer in the mcqs should be different and it should not be guessable very easily that is all the answer should not be having correct responses at option b or option c if the options are a b c d or e it should be equally distributed in the items an item should only contain only one correct answer and the correct answer should be the best answer 
that is the one thing we have to look into and the other thing is that there should not be any clue in the stem regarding what the correct answer should be the stem and item responses should not have any connections the length of the alternatives should be approximately equal the length of the stem should not be very long or very short and that is the thing is that is the one thing that we have to look into the stem of the items should be approximately size or size or number of words in the stem should be approximately equal important aspect as far as distractors is considered weak distractors that is partially correct answer possible partially correct answer should not be involved included as options only thoroughly wrong distractors should be used as options in the mcqs the stem should not be ambiguous and all the alternatives should be grammatically consistent with the stem of the item grammatically correct simple statement should be used in the as stems and it should be very clear the idea of in the stem should be very clear to the respondee and it should be amb- unambiguous the other type of objective test item is alternative response items we say true or false items here the respondee is asked to read and indicate whether the stem provided is true or false here the important thing is to be considered that double negative statement should not be used in the alternative response type items statement should must be either entirely true or entirely false and the statement must not be complex and indirect indirect statement should not be used in the alternative response type items and if there are six items in alternative response items the distribution of true and false item should be equal that is three true false item should be there and three should be false that will all help in reducing the chance of guesses going to be correct true statements and false statement should be approximately equal in length the length of the statement should also be consider- considered uh, in alternative response items it should not be like true statements are lengthier and false statements are shorter the respondent sh- should not be able to guess out like that in any manner from the statements the other type of objective test items are matching type like match the following items that is a modified version of multiple choice test items here a set of problems with an order shuffled answer set the stem here will be stem should be provided with the possible answers and the answers should be shuffled answers should be shuffled properly the premises and responses should be provided very carefully we should keep the match the following items short that is maximum number of 10 items should only should be used and the number of responses should exceed the number of premises homogeneity of the premises should be very much considered we should not include premises which are not homogeneous or the from a single area the premises should be from a selected single area 
it should not be easily identifiable for the respondee. We should not provide equal number of premises and responses that we have already said. The responses should exceed the number of premises. Important aspect regarding the instruction. The instruction should be clearly provided before the test item what the respondee have to do with the premises and responses. Other type of objective test item is completion type. Completion type item here, the thing is that the respondee has to do the fill up the missing part of a sentence series or graph from the given responses. Here the important thing is that we should not be using ambiguous statements or sentences as stems. And we should avoid questions which are having more than one answer. And regarding the construction of completion test item, we should not omit too many words from a single statement. Only the key word should be omitted from the statement. Locate a blank at the end of the statement. We should be providing a blank at the end of the statement and never begin with a blank. The completion type item should not begin with a blank. The blank should be at the end of the